these lenses are extremely lightweight and compact. I'm carrying the EOS R7 along with all the three lenses, Canon RF 100-400mm, RF 600mm STM and also the RF 800mm STM all in the same camera bag. The RF 100-400mm is pretty versatile because of the great range of focal length from 100 up to 400mm. However, particularly in places like little run of touch, sometimes the subjects are at a pretty good distance. For such subjects, the 600mm or the 800mm lenses are excellent in achieving that reach. Combined with a camera like EOS R7, one can also get an additional crop factor of 1.6x. You may think that an aperture of f11 will slow down the shutter speed. However, because of 5 stops of image stabilization and an excellent ISO performance, this is not a challenge at all. You may also think that a shallow depth of field won't be possible with f11. However, please remember that you are shooting with 600mm or 800mm which allows you to have a great depth of field in spite of the lens being f11. The R7's burst shooting mode takes up to 30 frames per second of raw files, which is just great for a wildlife photographer. The animal or the bird eye detection and the autofocus tracking is just fabulous. It just locks onto the eye and all that you need to do is to ensure that your subject doesn't move out of the frame. The image stabilization is great. Most of our photography were done handheld. ये जो मैंने 800 में अभी देखा, ये बहुत लाइट है। मतलब देखो कि कब पानी की बोतल से। Anyone who is who has always been in travelling and who loves exploring forests or outdoors on foot, but also enjoys photography, for them I feel these 600 and 800 f11 would be a perfect choice. The tilt screen uh, of this camera helps a lot while taking videos from low level angles. It's been a great pleasure with lightweight and uh, especially when subjects are uh, too far away, uh, it helps you, uh, you know, with the reach. So for places like Little Run of Kutch, for me this was a great combination. <laughs>